Supreme have decided to do a really cool collection with Clarks, mate. That's the thing that's absolutely crazy. They've got this great collection with Clarks. And I wonder if it's just the shoes or if the clothing is involved too. Because the clothing looks absolutely smashing. I swear to God. I swear to God it looks amazing. So this is courtesy of Supreme. It says Supreme Clarks Original. This spring, Supreme has worked with Clarks Original on a custom version of the Wallaby. I love that. Custom, bespoke, done only for Supreme. You're not going to get this anywhere anywhere soon. It says here, the shoe features a premium suede upper with a plique pattern. Leather lining, love that, and natural crepe sole. Made exclusively for Supreme, the Wallabies will be offered in three colorways. Available May 11th and available in Japan May 13th. Now, tell me without telling me that the look with the clothes looks amazing. I'm sure this is probably mainline, but God almighty, this look here with the red and the yellow hoodie with the same sort of pattern on the Wallabies. Ooh, this looks fire. It's like these cutouts they have on the top of them. They look so fucking good. And the only thing I hate about Wallabies personally, I've owned too many of them, is that if you wear them too often, the soles give out really quickly. Crep soles. Um, especially if you walk weird, you end up with the slant on the back of your heels and they just look really busted. So you, if you buy a pair of Wallabies nowadays, I feel like you've got to maybe have a good rotation of them in your wardrobe. Or I guess there's also an option if you want to. I'm guessing if you want, you could probably go to a cobbler and get the bottom of the crep sole kind of reinforced maybe with a really, really thin outsole so so that you wouldn't waste away the crepe sort of way. But quite, you know, part of the luxury or part of the niceness of wearing a wallaby is that you get that kind of soft bounce. So I'm not really too sure. Actually, looking at the picture here, the second picture, I feel like this clothing is like specifically made for the Clark's collaboration because it's got the same pattern um, that the shoes have on the clothes. And it's sort of like, you know, this amazing um, patch that they put over it. It looks amazing. I love it. Or oh, this applique, basically. It looks really great. So I think it's actually a custom footwear. So that'll be a first. I've not really heard of Clark's making clothes. So she might be a bit of a first in this one. Like, look at this look. This is me all over. Look at this. And again, whoever's doing the photography and the styling for Supreme nowadays, give yourself a hand, round of applause. I feel like it looks a lot more natural, a lot more lifestyle-y. There's not the constant need to always have some sweaty dude doing a heel flip over a rail. It's just nice lifestyle stuff that kind of gets it across really well. They've got, look, they've got at the back a little bit of Dragon Stout. If you're from Ends, you know. If you live in Ends, if you're actually from the hood, you know what Dragon Stout is. You know what Dragon Stout beer is. You know who drinks it. Big up my man them. Wagwan. Beer can. You know the vibes. But yeah, look at this. This looks so cool. You got this guy um, with his pants sagged, um, wearing the Clark's Wallabies and his face kind of hidden behind the brush. That's a really great picture, to be honest. That's a picture that you'd see hung somewhere in like the, you know, in the flipping Barbican or whatever, right? Whitechapel Gallery, they'd have this hung somewhere. Um, and again, look at this nice look again. The, the, red and, the red and orange ones are definitely the standouts. These are definitely for me the standouts. Like, they look so good. Look at Supreme Models having diamond rings. Things have changed, isn't it? Jesus Christos. Back in the day, be wearing cash and watches. Now they're wearing diamond rings. But these look so good. Look at those shoes. Ooh! -hoo -hoo! These look fucking sexy, yo. I'm not going to lie. The red and orange, they look so nice. Oh, ho -ho! look at those bad boys. Red and orange bombers. And it's got a little supreme hit there around the back. A little bit of a supreme embossed. So you can remind people on road that these aren't some regular Clarks that you get from fucking, um, you know, Oxford Street. These aren't Clarks with a rugby, Clarks with a fur. You know that song, right? Right? Clarks. Right? You know that song? Do you know that song? That song? Clark song? What is it called? Let me get this up on you. That Clark song is absolutely legendary. Who is it again? Is it Buju Banta? Oh, Vibes Cartel. Oh, it's Vibes Cartel shit it's a vibes cartel song you guys remember that right class of the clocks of the fur let me get it to you okay it's this one oh <laughs> big up big up these look fucking incredible i love them um orange the red and orange, whatever colors you got here, you got the black with the white contrast stitching. Ooh, fire again. God damn it, these look hard. And what else you got? Oh, and then you got the classic 
cream sort of colorway. Oh, these look so good. But for me, the red and the orange ones are definitely the standouts. The red and the orange with the full suit. Oh, look at that, mate. Everyone's auntie's getting juked. Everyone's auntie's getting juked. Know what I mean? You wear the red and orange ones. Everyone's auntie's getting juked. Auntie me thirsty. Auntie me thirsty. <laughs> Look at that, man. Me thirsty, auntie. Me thirsty. <laughs> Big up Supreme. Big up this Clark collaboration. Absolutely incredible. Love everything about it. Definitely want the clothes. Maybe more than the actual out you know the shoes but i think this look is absolute god tier i'm not gonna lie this look is absolutely god tier man fucking hell man fucking hell but yeah big up supreme cop them if you're ready if you want if you got the monies if you're not then cry cry into your pillow no one cares cry into your blood clot pillow <laughs>